We understand that sending internal communications at this time is very critical, so we're excited to offer you this tool to get those important communications out successfully. The information I'm going to go over is meant to help you fast track those internal communications. Before we jump into the details, the first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to use Polite Mail. I'm going to send a tracked message to our all employee distribution list. I'm going to click on the new email button and then navigate to our Polite Mail Builder to search for a template. Once I found the template that I want to use, I can bring that template in my new email by dragging and dropping the template or double clicking on it. Next, I'm going to click on the To button to choose my distribution list, making sure that I'm pulling it from my online global address list. Once I hit OK, that's going to appear in my To field. The last thing that I need to do before sending my message out is to make sure that Polite Mail tracking is on by clicking the Polite Mail yellow flag. Once I hit send, that email is going to disperse to all of my recipients of my distribution list, and from here I can start to track metrics. It's really as easy as using Outlook itself. So once you have Polite Mail installed, you're going to see the new Polite Mail tab right next to the Help button in Outlook. When you click on this tab, you're going to notice all these new features that Polite Mail offers. We're going to do a very high overview of the features that you can use while sending through Aggregate Outbox. Please keep in mind that you can have up to five people using Polite Mail during your trial, and you'll want to reach out to your sales representative if you would like to get those users set up. The first tab you're going to see is the Settings tab. Settings is where users can change their password and make sure their preferences are correct. In order to change your password, you'll want to go to My Profile. From here, you'll want to click on the Change Password hyperlink. Please keep in mind that if you are changing your password, it needs to be 12 characters long with one special character, one uppercase letter, and one lowercase letter. In the Preferences tab, we'll want to make sure that Embed Images with Message is unchecked. We recommend that you uncheck this button so that you're not embedding your images within your message, making your message larger. At the end of this recording, I'll show you how to reference your image from the Polite Mail server. Next, we have Server Connection. This is the button you'll want to press in order to get connected to Polite Mail. When you're set up as a user with Polite Mail, you will receive a welcome letter that includes your company's unique hostname and credentials to get you logged in. You'll want to make sure your hostname is inputted next to Polite Mail Server, and you'll want to make sure Send Email Via is checked off on your Outlook Outbox. Once you hit OK, that will bring you to the page that will ask for your credentials. You'll know that you're logged in when you see this brief loading page and it brings you to the My Profile tab. Now I'd like to open a new email window and show you how to create and send a tracked message and template with Polite Mail. When you click on New Email to open a new email window, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the Polite Mail Builder automatically populates on the right-hand side of your new message. The first thing we always want to make sure we do before sending out a message is to make sure that tracking is turned on. If you go to the Messages tab, you'll see a double feature button with the yellow Polite Mail flag and a drop-down arrow. Clicking on the yellow flag will turn tracking on, and as you can see, it's telling us that we have aggregate tracking on. Now I'm going to show you a template that we created specifically for you for COVID-19 communications. In order to get your saved content, you'll want to navigate over to the Polite Mail Builder and the Pages tab. From here, you can search for the template that you're looking to use. Again, you can drag and drop the template into your email, or you can double click on the template. In this COVID-19 template, you'll see that we've included a header, multiple body spaces, as well as a footer. 
At the top of the template, you'll notice that we've also included the expected read time that Polite Mail generates for someone to read your message based on word count and images that are included in your email. We do have a couple features that you can use with aggregate tracking that are helpful before sending your message out. If we navigate back to the Messages tab and the double feature Polite Mail button, when you click on the drop down, the first option you're going to see is Pre Flight Test Send. When you click on that, it's going to generate a new email. Creating a pre-flight test send is going to ensure that a preview message will be sent directly to your inbox in order for you to make sure that your email appears the way that you want it to before you send it out to a large audience. As you can see in the to line, it's going to populate your email address only and the subject line will say preview. Again, this is really just a great way to ensure that your message is looking exactly how you want it to before sending it out to a larger audience. One thing that's important to do before sending your email is to make sure that you're pulling from your online global address list by clicking on the To button, making sure that you're pulling from your online list, and then typing in your distribution list. One last thing you'll want to do before sending out your message is to get the recipient count of your distribution list. This is an important step when sending via Aggregate Outbox so that PoliteMail can capture your number of recipients for your metrics. In order to get the recipient count, you'll want to go back to the PoliteMail Double Feature button and click on the drop down arrow. Then you'll want to click on Get Recipient Count. PoliteMail has counted 14 recipients, and now I can press OK. Once I hit Send, that's going to pop up a box just letting me know that it may take a couple minutes for my message to be sent. Once I hit yes, that message will go out and then I can start tracking metrics from there. If you'd like to build your own template, you can do so within the Polite Mail Builder. Again, when you open a new email, you're going to see the Polite Mail Builder automatically populates here. Within the Polite Mail Builder, you're, you'll notice that you have three main tabs. The first tab is Pages, which is going to include all of your saved templates. Next to Pages is the Content tab, which is where you can start to build your template and bring in your content to include in that template. Lastly, we have Brand, which is where you can create a brand theme for templates by bringing in your company's hex codes, or choosing from our available color options. There is more information on how to build a brand theme in our Polite Mail knowledge base, which you can access by navigating to your main Outlook window, clicking on the Polite Mail tab, and clicking on the Help button. From here, you can type in the words brand theme and click Enter. And that's going to bring up all related articles on brand themes. Keep in mind that you can use this help button to search for any information regarding the Polite Mail tool. In order to start building your template, you can do so one of two ways. You can go to the Pages tab and click on the New button, and that will bring you to Template Sections. And you can also navigate to the Content tab and click on Template Sections. From template sections, you can start to build your template by starting with a header. Clicking once on header will bring you to all of our available header styles. Just like with bringing in a template into your email, you can also drag and drop template sections to bring them in, as well as double click them. Now that I've inputted a header into my email, I can go back to the rest of the template sections by clicking on this back button. From here, I can continue to build my template by adding a subheader, a body section of my choice, and maybe a footer. Once you have your template built, now you can start to add your images, words, attachments, and links if you choose. To add an image into your template, 
First, you'll want to make sure that you're highlighting the template section that you want the image to go into. Then you'll want to navigate to the Content tab within the Polite Mill Builder and click on Images. When you click on Images, you have the option of choosing from your image options that have already been stored on the Polite Mill server, or you can bring in a new image by clicking on the Add Image button. We do always recommend resizing any image that you're bringing into a template to fit the pixel recommendations. This is going to ensure that the image fits correctly within your template. For example, you'll see that my header is recommending that the pixel width of the image I bring into it is 640 pixels. I know that I've stored an image that is 640 pixels in width, so I can choose from the available options that are already stored on the server. I can bring in my image by dragging and dropping it, or I can certainly double click it as well. The next thing that you can do is include an attachment using our Smart Attachment feature. Attaching a file usually brings it to the top of your email, showing here, but bringing an attachment in via our Smart Attachment feature will make it appear as a link within your email. Using this feature will store your file onto the server, make your email smaller, and PoliteMail will also be able to track metrics on that Smart Attachment. To bring in an attachment, you want to make sure that your mouse appears where you want that Smart Attachment to go. You'll then want to navigate back to the Content tab and click on Smart Attachments. Just like with the Add Image feature, you can choose from the available Smart Attachments that you have stored on the PoliteMail server already, or you can add in your own attachment by clicking on the Add Attachment button. If I double click on this, that is going to add my Smart Attachment where I wanted my mouse to appear. The great thing about this is you can actually edit the text to display by right-clicking on the Smart Attachment, clicking on Edit Hyperlink, and changing the text to display. Links within PoliteMail are basically going to work the same as usual for you. You don't need to bring a link in any special way, but once you do include a link in your email, PoliteMail is going to rewrite that link and automatically track it so that you can see it in your metrics. Just like with Smart Attachments, you can edit the hyperlink and change the text to display as well. In order to save your template, you'll want to navigate to the Pages tab and click on the Save button underneath the search bar. From here, you can name your template as well as share your template so other users can use your template as well. So your message is out there and PoliteMail will be collecting data about how many people opened it, how much they read, and what links were clicked. Tune into our next video where we take a deep dive into those metrics.